Welcome back to Let's Play Return of the Ober Din. Can I push the button? There's a cow skull here. Can I push the button? There's a cow skull. I want to push the button. It's not exactly a passenger on the on the crew, but there's a body. There's a death to remember. So, let's check it out. You're getting to a uh, a, a very important couple of chapters here. Let's right. her here. One swing. Get and... through the and stone her brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. Well, I hope uh, nobody's squeamish around, uh, you know, mm. the, meat, the meat industry. I did, I did. You all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. All right, now, so poor cow. The, the cow is dead. That's 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 no. That's, yeah. Oh wait, we've seen that guy before. That's a new guy. And that's a new guy. So the everyone here is a midshipman. This guy this is, is the guy is the guy puking. That is Charlie. Okay, I can identify him. Uh, we can identify the uh, one of the, another guy in there. It, it should be this guy, right? Uh, oh, sorry, this guy. Because we've seen him before, at least I think. Maybe not him. It's either that or there's more more dudes over here. Oh, this guy's got a monkey. And uh, this guy, what the fuck? So not only is there a Kraken attacking the fucking ship, you know, later on, this is chapter two, so even early on, there was a mysterious sickness going around. Jesus Christ, they can't it's, it's, catch a brain! It's a cursed boat, I'm telling you! ay 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 New chapter! New chapter, this is a bitter cold. Ah, infection. Okay. Return of the can't catch a break. Yes, on the Orlop deck, we got the location, and it's it's just a cow that was slaughtered for its meat. Okay, we can identify several people here, though. Correct. Uh, the uh, Charlie was the one puking. Yes. And he was. Which one was he? I I can't remember. Well, that guy we can identify right, right off the bat. He was the guy who was cutting the meat. Was he named? It doesn't need to be named. Oh, he he would be the the most likely uh the butcher. Uh huh. -huh. Ta da! All right, and now for the other dude, I want to identify as what was it, Steve? Yeah, it was this guy. Ch was it Charlie or Steve? It was Charlie. We have a Charles. There's a Christian... I'm just double-checking. There's another Charles. They are indeed midshipmen. For sure? Yes. Okay. Alright, anybody else? Uh, well... <laughs> Exploded. That's his <laughs> name. Also his profession. So, uh, they're... Yeah, uh, go back to the crew again. They're the... the this one? Yeah. Uh, click on one of the guys who we can identify. We haven't yet, though. Oh, sorry. Uh... Try, try down. Oh. Keep, keep, keep going. I mean... <laughs> Alright, so... These, I believe, are the four shipmen. I think there's only four. Oh, okay. So, let's check them there. He just, was... Just, uh, click on Unknown Soul. This guy? Yeah, just any guy. Keep going. No. Try anyways. So go, go all the way down to the midshipmen. There Tom are four. Thomas, unknown, Peter. Yeah, so Thomas, Peter, and an unknown midshipman. Thomas, Peter, Charles, who we just identified, and Correct. then uh, somebody else. So, uh, okay. I think these are all the midshipmen accounted for. Oh, okay. Should we try a process of elimination, or no? Uh, yeah. Because there are three memories associated with this guy. Appears to have na been navigated from. First memory, disappeared in escape. 
bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alrighty. We're not going to worry about him just yet. Okay. He's not a guy we can identify. So we'll just move on then. Cool. For the time being. Alright. So they're cutting the cow. That's our in on this chapter. And now we're going to see what happened to these poor souls. This guy died of the sickness. Of the ick. Taking us to Bitter Cold 2. I kind of love a scenario where nobody wins. Just all these people are damned. And here he is. Ugh. He's just hanging there on the stairs. <laughs> well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Not consumption. Made worse by the cold. We it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at Alaska House. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? <laughs> I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. I love this. Yeah, I, I gave him some medicine. We'll see how he turns out. He'll be fine. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this dude, you don't know him yet. Okay. Uh, this is the doctor. Yes. This is an important guy. We finally get to identify him. Okay. And you, you, well, you're just, you, you just look like you're having a bad time. Oh! Yeah, he's having a bad time, all right. He's wearing a fancy hat. And this guy, he just looks sad. But he does have the monkey, I think. Can I identify the monkey? No. Under the table, I think, is the memento, uh, worry box. Maybe not that table. Oh, that, that table is just, uh... Oh, there it is, I think. Whoa. Under the bed there, maybe? That's a... Not that back there. Oh, that! Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. I have a gentleman right there. There's a body bag, and then here's this bloke. Don't know anything about him yet. All right. Uh, I'm the uh, Formosan folks. Okay. We'll, we'll identify all of them later in their own special chapter. Cool. Time to identify the doctor, but first, this poor soul died via sickness. Yes. How did they die? Uh, illness. illness. There we go. Succumbed to a tragic illness. So sad. So, uh, back to the, uh, well... Shit. See what happens when you press button you're not supposed to? Well, I the don't know how to go back to the front of the book without just flipping through every page. Well, we'll do this real quick. We don't have to go too far. Also, I can just go back to the book while I'm waiting for the the smoke to tell me to go places. There we go. There we go. So, how do you... So, just uh, down to ten of those. There we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, back to bitter cold. Bitter cold. Turn the page a couple times. Turn page. Seven of those are present. Oh, I forgot you can do it here. And find that guy. It's not these it folks. He's down below. Down below, yes. It was this guy. That guy. You are doctor or surgeon. Let me just check to see if there's any... Okay, there's no doctor. There is no doctor. So there is a surgeon. That is Henry Evans, the surgeon. Don't know how he died. He didn't. He's the one who gave you the book. He's still alive. Oh, that's right! So, he is alive. At the... Oh, wait. At the, uh... At the, uh... Time uh, to test your geography. Oh. Uh, Where is Morocco at? Oh, God. I'm gonna look like an idiot. I never paid attention to this class. Uh... Where's Morocco? Don't hurt yourself. It's in Africa. Is it really? Yes. Okay. Okay. And there you go. Three more souls. Three more fates correct. That guy was indeed Alfred Castile. The bosun. That guy was indeed Roderick Anderson. He's crushed that by a loose cannon. That was indeed Henry Evans. Alright. So, if we go back to the disappearances on that chapter, we can solve a couple more fates, too. 
because he had some people with him on the boat. They got away. They got they got on the they got on the boat and they they escaped. True. All right. So uh, go over to yeah. Keep keep going back. Here there we go. Oh, escape. So Emily Jackson and Miss Jane Bird were with him, and they are with him now. Okay. So they survived. They are in Morocco. They're in Morocco with the doctor. Okay. Uh, we don't know who he is. Okay. But we can assume that he is also but in Africa. Emily Jackson is alive in Morocco. Assuming. Yes. So, don't know who this guy is. We'll figure that out later. Yes. All right. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. That I've missed. There, clearly, because I've... <laughs> there's one more guy that we missed from uh, A Bitter Cold 2. Is he the corpse I'm currently about to... Check out. Uh, uh, no, but if we go over uh, to, to Bitter Cold 2... Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 There we go. Bitter Cold. Bitter Cold 2. I found out it is why. Takes you back. Speaking of which... Thank you for the demonstration. Over here. Some of those are present. I think we might have to go back to the... To the memory for that. But, oh, okay. But I am pretty sure the guy next to him is obviously his mate. Oh, the the weird-looking guy? Yeah. Okay, I can't remember what he looked like, though. But we'll go back to that later. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to look again. It was this guy, wasn't it? That's not him, though. That's the, that's the other guy. Oh, yeah. But the other guy who was with them is the surgeon's mate, because he's always with the surgeon. It wasn't this guy, I don't think. It might be. What memories? Uh, this is the first time we see him. Okay. Well, well, we won't worry about it right yeah, now. Yeah, let's just con continue. Let's uh, finish up Bitter Cold. All right, where'd this guy go? Just behind him. <laughs> he didn't make it very far. All right. This is just the other guy who died of the lung disease. Is 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 is. The uh, disease is multiple. All righty, there is a lot to do here. <laughs> Russian. Sayed. Sayed Uto. Sayed. I'll help you there. That was Hindu he was speaking. Oh, that was Hindu. Excuse me. Oh, well. Died due to lung problems. So we can identify him, no problem. Not, not only because he was called by name, but also by his hammock tag. 54. This guy. Him, we can probably ID, ideally, because he is also... He is also X. Well, that's X. It's not really helpful. Uh, this guy... That ham... Yeah, I, I wrote in my notes, that hammock with an X is a troll. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this guy can probably be identified because he's 51. And... I, I shouldn't assume that he's going to die via the sickness, but... I don't know, maybe. Alright, so uh, when we get a chance here, I will help... There's, there's a lot of reveals here, and we can identify a lot of the crew members based on some really uh, difficult uh, to spot things here. Yeah. And uh, the more we identify, the more they can help us out later on. Correct. Alright, so, the, so the, well, these are... Th th those are some of the big ones right there. Okay, so should I go back in and take a look at those guys? Well, you're, you're gonna go back in here because the chapter's over. What? Oh, that was easy. So that guy is obviously Solomon Syed. Number, f uh, what was it, 54? Yeah, yep. Solomon Syed. Solomon Syed. Okay, he died due to the illness. Yes. And there's three more. There you go. Well done. Three more fates correct. And... Alive and well. Alive and well. And there you be. They saw the writing on the wall and was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ta-da. All right. Let's do some ID'n. So, we are going to assume that all the people from India bunked together. Now, why would we assume that? Or is it just a safe bet? It's a safe bet. Okay. 
So, we can start by identifying this bloke over here. Well, not him. Oh, this guy. He had the hat. And apparently I know enough to at least, like, see him clearly. So, where is Hammock 53? Uh, Hammock 53 is right here. Alright, so he's not in there, which means that he's up right now. Oh, okay. But that's probably not him. Are you sure? I mean, it would make sense because he because he's in he's in his own hammock. You know, you don't sleep in another man's hammock. You just don't don't do that. So we could probably identify this guy because he's number fifty one. Uh -huh. And if he's from India, then that's a sure bet. At least that's how I see it. Do you? I mean, let me know if I'm if I'm wrong here. But that's the thing that makes sense to me. Let's see. Ah, shoot. We don't. Because we have the ship steward from India. We have four seamen from India. But would the steward sleep with these guys? In the same area, or no? Why would he? Oh, that's a good There's point. There's a bunch of lowly seamen. That's why they're at the bottom of the list. And why he's number 51. R Renfred Rajub. Shit, what did he look like? <laughs> uh, you might have to go there and actually identify him in the memory itself. Okay, you don't think I could do it from here? That'd be difficult to do. Damn it. Alright, well, I, I thought I had. So, go back. I thought I had an idea. Um, all the way to here? Like, like back out. Okay, back out. Now. Uh, let's go, let's stay in this area here. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, turning around. Let's start with this guy here. What's his tag say? Uh, he is number 51. That's 51, huh? Alright. So, you can highlight him and, uh, press A or Y, I think. Uh... Is there something you- I think you can press that opens up to his page in the book. Yeah. That guy. This guy. So he must be number 51, then, because he's sleeping in number 51's hammock. It makes sense. That's Renfred Rajub! Succumb to the tragic illness. And then, uh... <clears throat> And that, this, this guy's just chilling. That guy will do by process of elimination, because these are all the uh, Indian folks, are they not? Uh, yeah. I'd say so. so. So we've already done 54, so correct? 54 is him. Right. And uh, this guy, who's looking over him right now, saying, Hey, you okay? You all right? Looking very Indian with that hat, you know, d certainly. Very he much. is number 53. 53. Okay. You are William Wasim. William Wasim. Okay. Which means that the other guy is by process of elimination. Is 52. Uh, yes. Oh, he got crushed by the beast. Yeah, he did. A Abraham Akbar. Abraham Akbar. Was killed by the terrible beast. But we're not quite done just yet. All right. There's some folks over here playing cards. I like these guys. Maybe it's because I like playing cards. Why is it always behind him? Because he's clear, I just can't see behind you. There you are. Okay, got bearded man. Uh, how about you? You are also playing cards. So these guys are always playing cards. So we know that they're Ru that these are the Russians. How do we know that? Well, because they were speaking Russian earlier. It's like, well, you mind keeping it down? We are trying to play a game. Oh, I completely missed that. All right. You were shot with a gun. Oh, he was the this guy. This was the yeah. guy that got shot. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, where are my Russians at? <laughs> Damn it. All right. Uh, probably can't process of elimination this, can I? Well, let's see. Go back. Back okay. to me. Let me see. Because there's some. Important details I, w I don't want you to gloss over here. All right. All right, looking over here, uh, 47. Oh, good lord. That guy's of course, there. they have the numbers there. So, we can assume that's 47, 46, and 45. Or whichever numbers the Russians or have. Or something like that, and all uh, over here, ooh. There's a tattoo of a woman. Keep that in mind for a later chapter. Okay. 
So 47. Let's see here what I write down. Well, I can't really identify who he is yet. But him, the game seems to think that we can. Oh, right. Yeah, he's the guy who got shot in the face. He is. So, going down here is one topman and two seamen. So, looking at him, you can see he's dressed differently than these other two. Is he? Yeah. This guy is a top man. Is it because of how he's dressed? Yep. Okay. So say hello to Leonid Volkov. Okay. Interesting thought process. Is this how you figure this out? Mm-hmm. There's also one other hint for uh, something else in a later chapter. We'll look at that real quick before we move on. Ding. Ding. And that's a quarter of the fate solved, almost. Almost. The other top men are sleeping. They're behind you. Yeah? These guys? Yep, these guys. All right. Well, they're not dead yet, so I don't care. So they, so uh, they have, they're in their associated hammocks. Oh, I get it. But we can't identify them because we can't see their faces, and we can't really, you know, huh? You know, <laughs> while we're in this, we, we uh, can't haunt the past. We, while we're in, like, we can't like turn over the, the the tarp and see who they are because we can't move anything. Okay. But we're supposed to look at their shoes, and that's how we're supposed to identify some, you know, the top men in a later chapter. What? Yeah. Okay. But do not worry, I have determined who they are already. Alright, well, but let me try and figure it out. Where are we heading next? Uh, we can leave. Alright, back to the present. We'll try and get to the chapter I wanted to be at earlier. Alright. Wow, th only three people died. Mm-hmm. But, they're all dead. Alright, now that, that would be the end of the chapter, but we got another small short one that I want to do. I think we can follow this trail of blood. Let's see... Nope, you're going backwards. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Ah. Now, before you do that, one second, I want to make sure we're on the right track, and I want to jump, jump ahead here. Let's look through so here. So, one second. Editing me. So I think we got to go upstairs first. This, uh, what I showed you is going to be next time, but that's it's a bit of a longer chapter. Let's get back on track and head upstairs for now. Upstairs. Bye, bye upstairs. 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 March. One, two, one, two. Come on, sailor. March up those Aww, stairs. Oh, but I wanted to explore the body. March up those stairs. <sighs> there's okay. a cabin in here, and there's something out the window. Is it the star that's been so not that staring one. at me for forever? It's on the gun deck, so this is the place all the cannons? Hmm... Yes, it is, so in one of these cabins, there's something out the window. That? Well, that's a thing, but it's not the thing we're looking for. Alrighty. Most likely on the other side. Uh, not that one. Can't no. get through Ooh, there. It's where the blood's going, it's this one. Oh, well, that makes too much sense. We already been this one, never mind. Yeah, I was about to say, we've seen this guy. Well, keep going then. Alright. Yep. Excuse me. Auto-closing doors. 
Alright, try the, try the other side of the room for those cabins. Didn't we just check that? No. Oh, it's somewhere. There's a bone out the window that leads to another corpse. Oh. Then it would be obvious to see. So, I think there's more cabins down here. Let's just check no! them out. Door, please. <laughs> Ick, please. Please, door. Um. No. Oh, that's, that's the, that's the artist. That's him who died. Can't go through there. That's locked. All right. Can I just come over here? No, I cannot. Yeah, no, I cannot. Uh. Hello, Bone. Join me. Ooh. That door opened. There it is. There it is. Oh. All right. Gross. We should have started here, but that's okay. We can actually solve some more fates like this. Just seems like an accident. All right. Did they get invaded by pirates? No, no. Still their own crew. Still their own crew. This took place just after a bitter cold. This is chapter three. Oh, look at his arm. Hey, all we, right. We know who this guy is. All right. Or hopefully. Let me see. There we go. And then there's a top man here we can also identify. <laughs> oh, my head! I think that's the Dane. Oh, okay. Uh, is it this dude? Oh, maybe it's this dude. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. Okay. Uh, God, I don't remember the... the number that that guy was sleeping in. Uh, don't worry, I, I, know, I know his name. Okay, well, I don't want the name. I want to try and figure it out. Chapter 3, Murder. Well, we know he's a top man. Okay. And we know that he's Scottish. Okay. How do we know that he's Scottish? By his accent. Oh. Maybe there is a disadvantage to me having the volume low on this. Um. All right. And go, go figure. He's the only one. Timothy Bidimit. And we don't know who shot him, but I know she is Chinese. Oh, are are you blind? Yes. You think she shot him? Oh. Sorry, she was being strangled, she, and I thought was, she held the she gun. She was held hostage! I thought she held you the gun. You victim blamer, you! Oh my god, stop. <laughs> I am blind. <laughs> That's probably why this game would take me at least 20 hours. At least I would get more time with Oberdin. Right. It's meant to be a dense, uh, you know, well-written mystery here, so... Oh my god. Yep. Oh, it is this guy. Now we're getting to a, uh... Another big moment here. The murder of the masked man. This is a guy whose fate we'll probably end up knowing. Yeah, this dude got mm -hmm. murdered by a firing squad, and I believe you mentioned earlier we need to figure out whose bullet actually killed him. Yes. And this is what was depicted in the sketch of Justice at Sea. In your book. Let's see what we got. Puck Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. Aha! Uh -huh. Ho ho ho! 
Ha ha ha! As captain of this That's ship, two people we can find out now. By the authority of the East India Company and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, and then, when oh. you are ready. Mr. Right, Wolf, sir. huh? That's three. Ready, men. In. Fire. So, all right. We know you. First things first. We know who he is now. There we go. Which of the bullets hit him? Let's see. Oh, it's this guy's. That guy. Uh, okay. Okay. And he was Mr. Wolf, correct? Nope. Oh, the wait. guy given the order is Mr. Wolf. Uh, oh. One of them has his hand down saying, FIRE! That guy. That's Mr. Wolf. That is Mr. Wolf. Okay. And then, uh, if you also look around, the foremost in royalty... Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, who? You're behind you. Oh. These guys? Yep. Was she the hostage? That's Lim. Okay. So we can tell who she is. We can tell who, uh, one of her, uh, bodyguards is. But not the other guys, unfortunately. Not until later. Okay. So we got some IDs to do. Murder. Alright, I will identify this guy, Honks, Hock Sing Lao. Hock Sing Lao. Uh, go up. Go up. He's not Chinese. Oh, oops. Keep going. Oh, there we go. He's Formosan. Formosan. The Formosa royalty. Why do we have royalty on here? Oh, not electrocuted. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. That is wrong. Uh, the truth will be shrouded in darkness. Uh, he got shot. Shot with a gun. gun. I, I think we know who his attacker is. I swear I've, Id I've identified this guy. But I can't remember who it is. There's so, so many names. Uh, I go back to the... To the, uh, 20 that were present. Are those guys there? This guy. Henry, Henry Brennan. Brennan! Okay. Knife by a guy we don't know yet. Uh, Henry... That's Evans. Brennan, 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 Brennan. He was a seaman. Brennan, 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 Brennan. There you go. There we are. Alright, so I can identify her too, right? Yes, you can. We don't know her fate, though. We just know who she is. Correct. Uh, that was Miss Lim. Yep, that was Formosa. Unlan Lim. Okay. Still don't know you, still don't know you. Alright, um, so you. He's the one giving the order, saying FIRE! You were Wolf. That Christian is... Wolf, the gunner. Christian Wolf, the gunner. You got got by the beast. Poor soul. Alright. I think that's all we can do for right now. And if you look closely, the artist, Edward uh, Spratt, is sketching in the scene right now. Oh, where is he? Sorry, I'm I'm still blind. He, he, no, uh, like in the actual scene, not in the sketch. Oh, okay, in the actual scene. Yeah, because see, his, his initials are highlight, which means that he's actually there drawing. Oh, that makes sense. Butcher's still alive, and that guy, okay. I think that's all we can do for right now. Yep, there he is. Oh, yeah! Wow, how could he stand by and sketch at a time like this? Oh, there's another dead dude! That's the guy he probably murdered. Or that got murdered. But I got a feeling that he... That, uh... Our, our, our friend Hok Sin Lao wasn't the one who did it. Oh, you think he was framed? Oh, I definitely think he was framed. Maybe it was the captain. After all, Budli Lam said that he did nothing wrong. Maybe they just got in a really bad poker game. <laughs> Alright. Let's dance. So we know... We can know this guy, too. Hello? Who is there? Who is that? 
Is someone hurt? Signore Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, hello, yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Oh, watch your step. Here, let me help you. Ooh. Ha. Huh. So we know who both of these guys are. Oh, is that the guy playing the violin? So, and then this guy, this guy who we called Senor Nichols, we can identify who he is, and then this guy who we was identified in the previous chapter is Nunzio Pasqua. And there's the guy who they're going to scapegoat, Huck Seng Lao. And if you look in the room, hmm. oh, what on earth is that? A meteorite treasure, the reason for murder. It's it's uh. Part of the reason why things are going so fucking badly on this ship. A modus operandi. Uh, a MacGuffin, if you will. Yes, I love it. Okay. But now you're starting to see things are uh, coming to light. I love it. All right. So I will. I, I need to read again for the names, but yeah, I can. I can figure them out. Yeah. Yeah. The reason for murder. The corpse was moved post-mortem because he died here. Hmm. So we know who he is. Yes. Uh, Senior Nichols. Okay. Sorry, I just want to do this first before I forget. This guy, Edward Nichols. Second mate. Oh, dear. Mm, mm, mm. All right. So for the murder of... Well, he got... Uh, killified. He got knifeified by, by Edward Nichols. Now, let's see, he's a musician. But I think that's just <laughs> a little extra. I don't recall the last chapter. Nuni Nunzio Pasqua. That's it. Oh, yeah. Italy. From Italia. Signor. And there you go! Three more fates solved! Bene! Bene! Sweet! That was indeed Christian Wolf. And that was indeed Nunzio, Nunzio Pasqua. Pasqua. Nunzio. And, and that was indeed Hux Sing Lao. Okay, we're getting there. Now we've passed the half, or quarter mark. Yes! Well, what a rush. Indeed. Another door has opened. Yep. I think that's also the door uh, taking you out of here, so uh, indicating that the, the chapter is indeed over. Let's get out of here. And... I love it. Do believe next time... Okay, so next time we get that, which is... Oh. Aha! Two, three, three people died. Oh, this uh, this next chapter we're getting to, it's uh, gonna be a doozy. Cool. It's oh yeah. It's, I like it's doozies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So cool. So I'm gonna say next time on Return of the Obra Dinn, let's find some more dead guys. We're gonna find a lot more dead guys on next time on Return of the Obra Dinn, and uh, it'll be a great time. I mean. How much worse could it get? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look, I mean, all these corpses that keep showing up, I uh, think it was pretty fucking bad. Yeah, it's, it's all bad, so... It's all bad, it's all bad. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know. How about... Well, okay, this next chapter is called... Uh, yeah, what's it called? This, this next chapter? I'll, I'll leave you on this. Yeah, just hook me in. It's called Soldiers of the Sea. Uh-oh. See you next time on Return of the Oberdin.